In 2018, I bore witness to Yasmin Abunir. In 2024, I do the same. I want to be a specialist in the science and metaphysics. What is behind nature? You know why? Because I think that Gaza itself is behind nature. And I got so much from my presence here in Gaza that I'd like to transfer my skill to others. The Shujaya camp is always the center of events. Each time the occupation wants to invade Gaza, they pass by our house. When the war began, people left their houses thinking that the Shujaya would be hit. It's normal in this case to leave our house. Everyone was calling my dad to convince him to leave the house. My brothers from Algeria, my uncles from the States, my uncles from Ankara. The whole world was begging my dad and he wouldn't budge, refusing to leave the Shujai. Three days with my mum having packed the house up and we're in suspended travel mode. We want to go to my sister's house because it's safer there. After we were exhausted from talking, he agreed and said, you go and I'll follow. How can we go and leave him? My mum was smart. She left the bread at home and you know how dear bread was in the war. As soon as we got to my sister's house, she called him and said, Salman, we forgot the bread, bring it for us. And Salman fell in the trap and brought the bread and we wouldn't let him leave. The next morning, we woke up to a phosphorus bomb that fumed the street. We all started crying, our tears falling because of the phosphorus. The bomb was easier on us than Dad's taught him. He said, I told you, let's stay home. It's better for us. There's no place like home. And on it went. What added fuel to the fire is that the mosque and house next to my sister's house were destroyed in the bombing. And you can imagine what my dad did to us. He wanted to take us back home immediately. No sooner had he finished his words than we were told that the house next to ours in Shujaya was bombed and the front of our house ripped off. Then, for the first time, all of us looked at Dad. We stayed at my sister's place. It became clear to us that wherever we were in Gaza, in the war, we were not safe. After the war, I started to always dress in a very clean and tidy way, so that if I died, I would die at my death. But it would be the biggest problem if I was hit by a rocket, because I'd be 100 pieces, and I'd like to die in one piece. Wow. Gaza and Gaza's dreams. Our dream has become to die a good death, not live a good life.